Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Lenovo ThinkPad P15V. So this is the generation, the third generation, or they call it the P15V Gen 3. So this one is equipped with the Ryzen 6000 series processors from AMD, uh, as opposed to the Intel one. But you can get this same laptop in both Intel or AMD, depending on preference. Um, but my, I've looked at both of them, and I kind of think that because this is relatively thin, um, there's not a whole lot in terms of cooling. There's only one fan. There's one a single fan for the whole for both the uh, APU as well as the discrete NVIDIA graphics card that's in here. So we're going to look at that too in a little bit. Um, but because of that, I would prefer the AMD one because the 6000 series processor is very very energy efficient. Um, Alder Lake is relatively good if you can get one, but it's going to be pricier um, and it is going to run a little bit hotter. Um, and I, I do think that if you were going to go with anything with Intel, you would want a better cooling system on a laptop, like a dual fan um, sort of setup, as opposed to a single fan like this. Um, but thankfully, the AMD CPU is very, very efficient, so that's not really a problem here. So this works out perfect. So um, it is equipped with, you can see the sticker down here, the Ryzen Pro processor. So this is meant for more like an enterprise environment um, with the additional security features. Uh, for like an IT group for remote management that sort of thing. So just kind of take a look, taking a look at the laptop itself. If we start off here, let's just kind of close it and go around the side. So on this side, you do have the power and a USB 4. So what's cool about this is this is actually a USB 4 port, um, which is kind of rare to see on AMD laptops. They're slowly starting to roll out. I think we're going to see a lot more USB 4 enabled AMD laptops next year with Zen 4. But this is Zen 3 Plus, essentially. So it's kind of like the Renoir processors uh, or the 4000 series processors. So if you do want a Zen 4 laptop, you are going to have to be waiting for some time next year. Have the Lenovo logo there. The only other thing on this side besides the USB 4 port and the power, you do have an LED that will be orange while you're charging and then it will turn white when the battery is full. Um, you do have a full, pretty large exhaust. Uh, and then you have a smart card reader slot there. Moving around to the front of the laptop, you can see there isn't really anything going on there. On the other side, you have a 3.5 millimeter a combo jack, a full SD card slot, an HDMI port, and this is HDMI 2.1, I might add. Um, AMD does have H HDMI 2.1 on their uh, APU. And then you do have two traditional USB-A ports. These are five gigabit USB ports, so 3.2 Gen 1. Um, and you have uh, a power on or a, a, the ability to charge phones off of this one. And then you have a full RJ45 gigabit Ethernet port. So that's really nice to see as well. And then finally you have a Kensington lock. On the back, you have nothing more than a SIM card slot there and then the two hinges. So we will open it up uh, and look at the upgradeability later on in the video. Um, but just to kind of show it here. You can see the screen is actually very, very nice. Now it is kind of old school, it is 16 by nine. So it is starting to get a little bit more rare these days with a lot of laptops moving to the, the taller 16 by 10 golden ratio, which I personally do like that, um, but it, it's kind of weird. You know, we've kind of, kind of gone full circle with laptop displays now where 10 years ago, you know, 16 by nine was where all the manufacturers were sort of pushing into the market uh, 16 by 9 and now we're going back to 16 by 10. So this is kind of old school, 16 by 9. This is a 4K panel. Just zoom in. So it is a UHD 2160p IPS 600 nit anti-glare 14 to 1, 1400 to 1 contrast ratio, 100% Adobe RGB. So that, that means it has a very wide color gamut. So very, very nice if you're doing photo editing and that sort of thing. Uh, so Dolby Vision, HDR 400, Pantone calibration, etc. DC dimming. So you can see if I if I start lowering the brightness of the monitor, you do not notice any sort of. Uh, if I brighten it all the way up, as well. So uh, really nice display. It is only 60 hertz though, but again, this is meant for business use as opposed to gaming. So this is not really a gaming laptop. Um, but having said that, we are looking at a Rembrandt APU, and this is the H series from AMD. So this is the 8-core, 16-thread 
Ryzen 7 Pro, so this is the 6850H, 6 nanometer, you can kind of see it there. Uh, we are running this with 32 gigabytes of memory out of the factory. The nice thing about this laptop is that this is so dim memory, so there are two dim slots that are user upgradable. So you can actually upgrade this up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5. Again, it is DDR5, so it's, it's one of the first laptops to offer DDR5 that is actually upgradable as opposed to soldered DDR5, which is kind of how the, like the P16S from Lenovo is like that. So that's really nice. Um, for graphics, we do have the integrated AMD Radeon. This is the 68, 680M, I believe. So it is very, very powerful for an APU. So the integrated graphics is very good. It's probably the best there is right now as of 2022. Um, so uh, if when you're on the go, if you're running on battery power, you know, this is going to be really, really efficient and it's going to perform top notch. Um, now, when you plug in, you do also have the NVIDIA RTX A2000. This is an ISV certified professional workstation graphics card from NVIDIA. So it is an embedded display graphics or DGPU, discrete GPU uh, with four gigabytes of memory. Uh, we will do a teardown a little bit and kind of show um, where that's at. Uh, but or what it looks like at least so you can see you do have discrete graphics as well as having the option of the integrated APU so I really like this because if I do need the extra discrete GPU power um, you know it's nice to have that there and it being NVIDIA that gives me CUDA acceleration if I'm doing professional work and that sort of thing uh, while maintaining very very good uh, power, battery life, and energy efficiency while on the go using the integrated AMD APU. So I think that is a very, very nice combination. Um, and I do want to also mention that this is the exact same processor found in the new ThinkPad Z16. Um, but I didn't like the Z16 because it didn't have any USB Type-A ports, nor did it have a RJ45. So I do like how with this, I have access to the same high performance processor, but with a better chassis, a better platform because I can upgrade the RAM, I can swap in like another SSD if I wanted. So I've already installed um, another SSD. And we are gonna show that um, later on in the video of that process of adding the second SSD. So you can see I have a uh, the one terabyte Samsung that came with the uh, the laptop so this one has the windows installed and then I added a two terabyte Black Friday special that only costs like $80 for Micro Center and VME drive so that's really really nice for extra storage so three terabytes of storage 32 gigabytes of memory and NVIDIA ISV certified professional graphics as well as the strongest integrated graphics from AMD available so overall I think this is a very strong performer it has very good battery life the battery is a the battery is the little a little disappointing, um, only because it is not as high a uh, capacity as I would have liked. So you can see here, the battery is a 68 watt hour uh, battery, uh, brand new. You can see the wear level is zero percent. So this is a brand new laptop. It would have been nice if this was 80 watt hour or even 90 watt hour. And then I think this laptop would be a perfect 10. It has very good color on the display, 4K display. You know, there's really nothing to hate about it. Um, the only other thing I forgot to mention earlier was you do have a integrated webcam. I don't know why it's not focusing. There it goes. So, and it does have a it does have a privacy shutter. So that's when it's open, and then when the red's there, that's when it's closed. So it's really nice that that's there. You have your stereo microphone as well and noise canceling mic. So that's really nice to see. And as far as multimedia, you can see the speakers are stereo, top firing audio as opposed to rear or downward firing audio. So I, I actually like it this way better. I think it just sounds better. The mids and the highs are better in particular. So overall, it's a very, very uh, good laptop. Um, just to kind of show, I'll show you guys a Cinebench real quick. I ran Cinebench earlier just to get some kind of performance numbers. So it is a relatively small, compact laptop, so the cooling isn't the best. Um, but what I think this does show is that even with 
cooling that is not the greatest, the AMD processor is able to perform relatively well. So multi-core 12,621 and the single core was just over 1500, so 1505. You can see there is that uh, 8 core 16 thread. So that is faster than 11th gen um, with less cooling on, on it. So I think with better cooling, it's probably do a little bit better. If you are in the market for you know, something that can work as a, a desktop replacement, um, and if you want to use like a docking station, I can't recommend this enough. Like the ThinkPad USB hybrid, the USB-C, the hybrid docks like this, um, as well as the Thunderbolt. We will be looking at a Thunderbolt 4 workstation docking station. We're going to look at how that works with this particular AMD-based laptop, which which has a USB 4 port on the side. We're going to see if that USB 4 port is backwards compatible with a Thunderbolt 4 docking station. But I've already tested it with this older hybrid dock, the USB-C type dock, and it works perfectly fine with this. But this will give you display link as opposed to native um, display out. So that is something to keep in mind if you are looking for a, a desktop replacement and you're looking for docking station uh, options. The nice thing about it too is that it, it includes, it comes with a 135 watt charger as opposed to the 170 watt or the 230 watt found on the higher wattage or the higher power uh, Intel equipped models. So if you are traveling and you do still want, you don't want to compromise too much on performance. So this AMD laptop is a really nice option because it is very energy efficient and only really needs the 135 watt charger as opposed to the heavier one. So it's really, really relatively small and compact. So, all right. So after you take off the top cover, we can see in here so this is the first uh, DDR5, as far as I know, it's the first AMD DDR5 uh, laptop where you can actually uh, upgrade both SODEMs. So it is DDR5 upgradable. So it, this, this particular model is configured with 32 gigabytes of memory, but you can upgrade these to a total of 64 gigs. You can take, you know, dual 32 gig DIMMs. Put them in here the ddr5 speed here is 4800 that's what's supported on this platform um, but what i wanted to look at here is for the cooling mechanism that they're using so you have a dual heat pipe design the amd apu is under here and then the nvidia rtx a2000 is under here because you can see the memory modules there's four of them for four gigabytes of memory that are right there uh, and then you have a single fan unit. It's a pretty large fan. Um, and the other thing too is you have support for PCI Gen 4 M.2 drives. So they do include the heatsink. So you can add PCI Gen 4 SSDs here, or you can add a second one. The primary one here is from the factory with the windows installed on it. Um, but you can add another one here. So that's really nice to see. So I'm going to be adding one of these two terabyte inland QN 322 SSD. So this was on sale. This was like a Black Friday special at Micro Center. So two terabytes. It is only a PCI Gen 3 drive, and this does support PCI Gen 4. But for a laptop as a storage, another storage drive, I don't really think that the, it really matters. Um, but if you do want the performance, then definitely go for a, a Gen 4 drive. So just to show how Lenovo's M.2 like the, the Gen 4 cooling works. So they have essentially a strip of copper here, which I don't really know how effective this is at cooling a Gen 4 SSD. This reminds me of those really poor implementations that we saw with uh, like the very first generation of motherboards that had M.2 support. Um, but essentially you have a, there's a thermal pad here. There's a thermal pad also on the underside. Um, and then essentially there's one screw that holds that in. So what you want to do is you want to take the M.2 drive itself and put that in. So then you want the screw hole to line up there. Um, and then you got to put this. This has a uh, like kind of like two fingers there to kind of go in. And you want this to line up with the screw hole. And once that's over, 
Uh, you just put that in. Now I just I checked the thermal pad. There's no there's, there's no uh, peel or anything you have to peel off. It just kind of goes in. Um, but there, once that's in, we just yeah. So that's good. Okay, so there, th that's in. So that gives me two more terabytes of storage on a secondary drive. So overall, Wi-Fi 6E. You know, th this is essentially um, what the ThinkPad Z should have been because I think this is basically the ThinkPad Z, but it just has upgradable memory, upgradable M.2, and you get the NVIDIA ISV certified graphics on top of that. So really, really good, and it has the really, really nice keyboard with the numeric keypad. So overall, um, I highly recommend this laptop, the ThinkPad P15V Gen 3, uh, AMD based, Rembrandt, so really, really nice overall. So, yeah, in conclusion, I would say that this laptop, it's relatively lightweight. Uh, we can see the weight here in terms of the dimensions. So the laptop is almost five pounds. It is 4.98 pounds or 2.26 kilograms. So it is kind of heavy, but remember, it is supposed to be a workstation. It's not supposed to be a thin and light, um, but it is relatively small. Um, for what it is, um, but and it is pretty quiet too. So uh, I can play, you know, Final Fantasy 14 on here at 1440p, no problem. Um, the NVIDIA RTX 2000, A2000 is essentially a 3050 Ti mobile. For those not familiar with the A series uh, discrete GPUs from NVIDIA, so essentially it's a 3050 Ti mobile chip in here, but it's ISV certified. So. Um, yeah, I think overall it's a nice performer for productivity um, and potential on-the-go travel. I mean, it's not that light, but so I probably would prefer something a little bit lighter if I was traveling a lot. But I do think that for what this is, uh, it's a nice blend of, you know, great display. It has the fingerprint reader. It has backlit keyboard, the webcam with the privacy shutter, upgradable RAM two M.2 slots that are both Gen 4 capable. Um, so those, and it has that solid Lenovo ThinkPad build quality um, that I've been a fan of for a very long time now. So if you guys are in the market for a new laptop, if you're looking for something like this, or like a desktop replacement, or something stronger than a thin light, but not super, super heavy or anything like that, it's not like an eight pound behemoth or something, then definitely check this out or feel free to leave a comment below uh, if you have a question about the laptop or any sort of like if you want my recommendation on another laptop that you're looking at and it, feel free to leave those comments uh, in the video below and i will catch you guys in the next one thanks